Today we're opening a stack of old school booster packs. What's up guys, we're back with what I think will be an epic video. We have a ton of awesome old school packs. These were sent to me by Jackson, a viewer of the channel. He also has a note we're gonna read in a second, but first we have Light Destruction First Edition. We have First Edition Shadow of Infinity, Phantom Darkness. We got the Dark Revelation Volume 1. We've got a few of Magician's Force that got out of order a little bit, but then we have a couple Magic Ruler. We've got Labyrinth the Nightmare. We got another Light of Destruction. There's the, mag the Magician's Force and then another Magic Ruler there. That's just the loose packs. Then we have a couple of First Edition pharaoh servant blisters that's going to be insane a couple of original print metal raiders packs which is going to be super fun to open and then finally one of my favorite products ever the forbidden legacy we've opened up several of these on the channel it's always super fun so i'm excited to hop into it let's see what he said in the note hi roxon it was such a pleasure watching you open my vintage packs that i had to send you more in the box, I included a mystery card for one lucky individual who buys in the retail Pharaonic Guardian box break. By the way, if you guys don't know, we will be doing a Pharaonic Guardian box break with both retail and hobby. Currently, I haven't announced it to you guys yet, so this is where you're going to hear it from probably. Labyrinth of Nightmare, we're doing hobby and retail first edition as well. We've sold, I think, close to half of the 60 packs is 24 and 36. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. If you want a $10 discount per pack, make sure you become a member of Patreon. All right, let's continue. Uh, this Pharaonic Guardian will come after that. So he sent one of those boxes in, so big shout out to him big shout out speaking of big shout outs to my homies jared and roman Koo, who helped me sell my runescape gold to pay for all the packs that's hilarious runescape is awesome by the way congrats to you for reaching 150k thanks a lot and congrats to the golden state warriors for winning at 21 22 nba championship that was a long time ago so i'm not gonna even acknowledge that happened no i'm just kidding okay yeah he likes to you know talk about golden state all that stuff but we're just gonna pretend like that's not a real thing that happened he also sent us a giveaway we have three cards so we have secret barrel i think he just used this to pack the cards but it's actually kind of a sick uh burn card exo sisters magnifica and here's the really interesting one we have a night Nightmare wheel when i saw this i was like why does this card look different it's because it's asian english i have never seen an asian english pharaonic guardian card so that's actually kind of sick so you guys can win that in the giveaway all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and make sure to thank jackson d in the comments and let me know your favorite poll from this video all right, let's hop right into it. We have some blisters and some old school. We're gonna start off with Magician's Force. I know it's weird to start off with this, but we have like four of them, so we might as well. All right, let's go. Magician's Force, unlimited. Let's, that seemed like it was opened already, by the way. Um, okay, let's, we'll keep an eye out for that, but it seemed like it might've been opened up already. We'll see. At knowing him though, if you guys remember the last time, the last video, go check it out if you missed it. He sent us a resealed blister on purpose, just for like the memes. So I, I don't know, that could be happening again. Ah, I was ready. I didn't fall for it this time. I almost did for a second. I didn't. Giveaway couldn't help myself. I'm too good. And I picked the giveaway out the first pack this time because last time I did it on the last pack, so I was really thrown off. Got it. Nailed it. Okay. Wait, so this is a giveaway. He gave me like three separate giveaways. One of them seems like a slab for the Pharaonic Guardian thing. Uh, I think those were... Oh, whatever. We're just going to give this away as well. Metal Silver Armor. We've got the Union Rider. So this is the giveaway. Pineapple Blast. This is it going to be... Oh, a Demock. Oh, wow. Look at this. So Demock appears to be original print, by the way. No, I mean, it's not like mint or whatever, but that's an original print Demock in the giveaway. That's insane. We got a Vampire Lord. That appears to be a reprint, but still an amazing card. Awesome for the zombie deck that I play in Goat. I really like it. Dark Necrofear. Another really cool Fiend card from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Very nice. And then the Necros. This is certainly a reprint, but probably the mintiest card because it's a reprint. Yep. Very nice. Awesome looking. So that's a really sick you know, pack right there. That probably, I feel like that should have been a Ferotic Guardian pack that he resealed right there. All right, one pack in. I've officially not fallen for the uh, the, the fake pack or whatever. All right, let's open a real, uh, whatever it's called. What is this called? Magician's Force. It's right in front of me. How did I randomly pick the one that was resealed? Are they all going to be like that? I'm really scared. Let's keep going. We have a Meta Silver Armor. We got the Roulette Barrel. That was in the fake pack. Ritual Dragon, White Dragon Ritual. I'm reading everything backwards. What is happening? Final Blast. Do I have, um, you know, Whatever that's called when you read stuff backwards. I forgot. Decay Commander. Kaiser Coliseum. Amazonas Blowpiper. Okay. And... Ooh, we're starting it off with a super rare Spell Shield Type 8. So that's good to know that we will be getting foils, at least out of some of these. Spell Shield Type 8. Very cool. Actually, a solid card. I mean, back in the day, it's really not too bad. You get to negate a targeting spell, or if it's just a generic spell, you can discard one and uh, do that. So pretty nice card, actually. All right, that was pretty cool. Let's open a Magic Ruler, because we do have two of those. I'm a little scared that, you know, at any second, I can be attacked by, like, randomness, you know, resealed pack. Uh, okay, I just destroyed that pack artwork, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay. let's see one two three four this feels like a legit pack we have darth maul awaiting orders horn of light we've got sonic bird tyone numero dos 
Giant Turtle who feeds on flames, Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, Luminous Spark, and Oh, a Black Illusion Ritual, back-to-back -back supers. All right. This one appears to be really well-centered, too. Uh, looks and appears to be pretty minty. Maybe a little bit of a dot right there. But overall, pretty solid condition on that. We've got two super rares. We will take that. Next pack, what do we go for? Dark Revelation, something like that? Dark Revelation Volume 1. One I have not opened too much. I think we opened a booster box at some point, like a long time ago, when they were not that expensive. But I have not opened this a ton, so... Let's just see what we can do. Actually, I think this is one we can't do a pack trick. So we're just going to go right from the front. I think it could be the very front card, though. So I kind of want to do at least this so we don't get spoiled right away. We have Old Vindictive Magician. That's actually a really nice common. Outstanding Dog Marin, one of Chelsea's favorite cards. Zolga. Union Rider. Oh, Ruxin Special. We got the Maju Garzette, a pretty good card. Formation Union. I think the back card might be it. Okay. Me Meteor Rain. Okay, we still have the... Uh, the spell cards to determine if it actually is. Narrow pass. Oh, and there's another foil in Necro Valley. Did he weigh these out or buy them as heavy or something? Because this is insane. Three for three. I mean, they're not like big hits, but actually Necro Valley is a really cool one. And this is one of the cards that's had like the text change. Like, isn't it like 14, 15 times or something? Because they keep like the, the graveyard distinction of how exactly to say like how this card works. It's a little confusing. So they keep changing it over and over. It's very interesting. What did I actually put to the back? XE Tank Cannon. So you can get a rare and a super in those packs. I, was, I didn't actually realize that. It's going to be really weird when we like pull foils out of the loose packs and don't pull anything out of like the, uh, you know, the blister packs where it's supposed to be unweighed. I mean, it's technically possible. Let's see. Shadow of Infinity first edition. I don't know if this is like hobby or not, but either way, we can pull a Sacred Beast, which I have never pulled. So that would be really cool. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can pull something big. Wait, is four right? I think it is. Photon Generator Unit, Malice Ascendant. Attack Reflector Unit with the Cyber Dragon Guy, Ancient Gear Cannon, Symbol of Heritage, Machine King Prototype, Beals Frog, and we have a Symbol of Heritage. Wait, is that it? No, it's next. Oh, the Doom Dozer. Remember when this card went crazy because of Beach Troopers? It was like a hundred dollar ultimate rare. It was like five bucks and then it went to a hundred. That was insane. All right, let's try another Magician's Force because we do still have two of those left. Let's see if we can pull something big something epic will it be amazing upside down interesting okay you always got to keep an eye out with these packs wait look at this the first three cards are not upside down that's really weird okay let's do it like this let's just uh i i don't know i guess we go like this amazon a spellcaster mad scientist or magical scientist rivalry of the warlords actually a very good card great angus if you're getting hungry there you go we've got all right sonic duck we gotta flip it back around frontline base very cool physical double we got to go back around again. Freezing Beast. And finally, we have Combination Attack. All right, we're now hitting the rares finally. So we're not just going to hit a foil every time, unfortunately. LON Time, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Dark Necro Fear, uh, The Masked Beast. Let's go with a... I destroyed this car this pack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. At this point, it's just a lost cause. Um, the Last Warrior from Another Planet, which I recently graded as a 10. If you've seen my recent PSA video with over 200 cards, go check it out if you missed it. Insane, awesome 10 to pull. Amazonist Archer, we got a Ruxin Special. There we go. I Ruxin Specialed two cards there. The Blind Destruction and Scroll of Witchment was another one. The Rock Spirit. A Juragonic Attack, very nice. Spherus Lady. Many have been deceived by the beauty of this vampire. Really? These many? They're, they, these many, I don't, I don't know what you guys are looking at. Uh, the beauty, huh? I don't, I, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Tornado wall. There we go. We've got a Mako card. Shining Abyss. And finally, we have a Royal Command. Ultra rare. All right. Royal Command. Very minty. See the centering on it definitely off, just like a lot of LO win cards. But that's our first ultra rare. These packs are stacked. We are pulling Ultras and Super. That's our fourth foil out of old school packs, which is really good. All right, I think it's time for our first blister, Pharaonic Guardian First Edition. Check out for any funny business, anything crazy going on with like giveaways. Let's just go and open it up. Pharaonic Guardian, we've had great luck with these blisters. I've pulled like multiple Lava Golems. So that'd be great if we could pull in one or if we could pull a Don Zalug. I would love to pull Don Zalug. Let's see what we can do. We have Pharaonic Guardian. Can we pull Maiden of the Aqua? That's a big card. It's like $15. We have Royal Tribute. The Deslacuda for the Deslacuda decks. Great Keeper's Assailant, awesome card. So many cool cards of Pharaonic Guardian, to be honest. Dark Snake Syndrome. Call of the Mummy with Chewbacca. Impachi, very nice. 
Ordeal of a Traveler. There it is, the ordeal. Shame Snatch, he's added again, a bow tie with horrible powers. It attacks its opponent by controlling others. Oh man, you gotta watch out. And finally, Reckless Greed, the greed of recklessness. Ah, oh, there it is, look at him. He's about to fall through like a trap door or something. That's what it seems like. All right, back to the other ones. Let's do a light, oh, I realized we have two light destructions. I kind of forgot. First edition light of destruction, can we pull? If we pull an honest, I will actually lose it. Like we've had great luck pulling for people recently. But that's like another level. I think I'm going to do three just in case because it could be a little weird because it's like GX stuff. Arcana Force 6, the lovers. There's the lovers right there. If you guys were looking. Light Spiral. Cup of Aces from the set. I didn't realize that. The Dual Link special for all those skills that allow you to like automatically, t uh, you know, get heads or whatever. Arcana Force 1, the Magician. So you can get a Magician or a Lover. Rainbow Gravity. Interplanetary Invader A. So the Interplanetary started here. Interplanetary quick charge it might be the next card i don't know let's see it is oh it is the next card let's do this real quick let's see what this card is miracle flipper so this appears to be an effect monster i don't know if you guys know honest is an effect monster this could be the ghost rare. let's see we have oh a secret rare bomb king first edition this is probably actually worth quite a bit Fog King First Edition from Light of Destruction. Where did he get these packs? These packs are like completely unscaled, 100%. They're almost like weighed heavy, it seems like. This is insane. We have pulled so many foils. We now have a Secret Rare, an Ultra Rare, and three Supers out of only a few packs. This is insane. Woo, I don't even know what to say. This is going so well. So let's go back to Metal Raiders. Um, wow, okay, Unlimited Metal Raiders. That is a Fog King Secret Rare. I don't know if I've ever even pulled a Secret Rare out of Light Destruction because when we opened the box, I don't think I got a Secret, did I? I think I got an ulti but didn't get a Secret. So, or at least a First Edition, I should say. Like, I have pulled an Unlimited Light Destruction uh, Secret Rare, but not First Edition. Oh, Lady De Fey right off the bat. Can we get that Pequeno Moth? Here we go. We have Doma. The Angel of Silence, Empress Judge for the Queen's Double and Hibikime. Soul Release. Oh, the Cousin Moth. The Cousin of the Moth. Lady De Fe, very nice. Blue Winged Crown, beautiful. Lava Battle Guard, all right, very nice. Morinfin, and is this the last card? Is this it? Will it be a foil? Here we go. Oh, the Grande Moth. There it is. The Moth of Grande. All right, back to our stack. Let's go Phantom Darkness. If we get a secret rare out of here, let's say Dad. How about Dad? Okay, we have once before pulled, you know, I pulled the, uh, whatever the dude's name is, the 1700 Dark that you use for like Dad decks, secret rare. What's he called? Dark Greffer. I pulled that before out of one of these packs, out of a booster box, which was insane. So I would take that again. Also, Dad would be insane. Gladiator Beast and Doll. And Dad is very expensive, like $400 secret rare. Double Tag Team, Dark Crusader, Acidic Downpour, Sea Koala, Vengeful Shinobi, there it is, Naruto, Alchemy Cycle, Future Samurai, wait, oh, is, that, is that it? Or is it next? Sinister Seeds. Okay, so I guess it would have been before the rare. I really don't know where that would have been, to be honest. All right, I think we go Magic Ruler here. We still have quite a few packs left. Like, I, there wasn't a ton of packs, but, like, these are the kind of packs I like to take my time on because they're so old school. They're so classic, nostalgic, and all that stuff. So we're actually kind of going at it. Kind of a slow pace here. Mechanical Snail. We have a Guardian of the Throne Room. And there's the little brother. And Labyrinth Wall. Very nice. Liquid Beast. A liquid life form that thrives on water. There it is. Wall Shadow. It also helps that we've had insane pulls so far. Why does it feel like this is like not completely saturated? Not like faded, but like it doesn't seem like effect monster enough. If you know what I mean. Stone Ogre Grotto. Chain Energy. I hate that card. High Tide Gyojin. And we have... Senju of the Thousand Hands. Very, very cool. I like that card. It's pretty classic, but not a foil. I think we're going to go the Pharaonic Guardian Blister here. Let's do it. Pharaonic Guardian Blister Pack, our last one, first edition. Can we pull something? Have we pulled anything out of the blisters yet? So far, it's been all rares, which is like kind of funny because that's what I said. I was like, what if it's all, uh, you know, <laughs> it's all not foils. It's uh, rares and then everything in the loose packs is foils. And that's kind of what's happened so far. Let's see if we can pull, even if we don't, let's pull a Maiden of the Aqua, a Metamorphosis. Trap Dushy was the next one. That's like almost a $10 card. Really nice. Gravekeeper's Curse. Banner of Courage, Curse of Aging, Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, D-Tribe, very nice, Bird Face, it's the Bird Face from the Harpy decks, and we have, is this our first foil? 
Wandering Mummy, another non-foil. The blisters are not coming through, but everything else is making up for it. All right, let's do the light destruction. We already pulled a secret rare. What more can you ask for? If that was a secret rare honest, that would have been pretty insane. Didn't we pull an honest? We pulled an unlimited honest at one point, I feel like. It was a secret rare, though. It wasn't like anything insane. Wait, I think I can do four, because last time I had to remove one from the back. We've got Arcane of Force 3, the Empress. Raging Cloudian. Garganeth, Lightsworn Dragon. Very cool. Arcane of Force 0, the Fool. He's a fool. Portable Battery Pack. Realm of Light. Goblin Recon Swad. Mystical Cards of Light. And we have a... Deck Lockdown and Deck Lockdown. All right, Deck Lockdown is cool, but let's move on to Magician's Force. Let's see if we can pull another foil. We have cooled down a little bit, but we started off so good, it's like still not that big of a deal. Let's see if we can pull like Dark Paladin. I don't know if these are hobby packs. I assume they're not. It's pretty hard to find for Magician's Force, but if they are, <laughs> pulling DMG would be insane. Let's go. Exhausting Spell. I mean, that's like an understatement. That would be way more than that. Giant Orc, Pitch Dark Dragon, Amazon a Spellcaster, Second Goblin, Formation Unit, Freezing Beast, People Running About, and we have a DD Crazy Beast. All right, we got the DD guy. All right, not the guide from Duel Links, but the, the guy. A couple blisters to go. Let's start with Metal Raiders. Then we will do the Forbidden Legacy with the EN packs. Okay, that ripped kind of weird. Let's see if this is one of those resealed ones from him. Let's see if he's messing with us. We're about to find out. Metal Raiders. Let's pull something. It feels kind of normal, though. It doesn't feel like the other one where it just kind of fell open. Uh, well, uh, What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Can we get it out? Can we not damage anything? There we go. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's go. Let's pull something big. We have Soggy the Dark Clown. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I think it's his laugh. Dome of the Angel of Silence, Empress Judge. We got a little dot there. It might actually come off. I can't tell. Soul Release, Cheerful Coffin, Queen's Double, Lady Diffie. And finally, we have Seal Scorpion. And finally, we have white magical hat all right so so far the blisters have not come through we're over four on there let's see if the forbidden legacy can turn that around and give us some amazing pulls the loose packs are really really good so let's crack into this and get into the packs all right we have successfully gotten the packs out these are en packs by the way we're going to save the pop tart for the end spell ruler en with the abbreviation at the bottom let's see if we can pull something cool and unique since it's en you know a little bit different than the normal prints Let's go. This came around, or I think 2005. I really can never remember. I always say 2004, 2005. It's one of those two. We got Hamburger Recipe. Psychic Kappa. Griggle. Final Destiny. Mechanical Snam. Slot Machine. Where's his little brother? There he is, the little brother. It's so good to see you. And Labyrinth Wall. And all the Arkansas Razorbacks, there they are again. All right, they increased attack, but unfortunately, they have no defense. All right, let's keep it going. We have Metal Raiders. EN Pack. Can we pull an EN Gate Guardian? Can we pull an EN Summon Skull? Can you moth? More importantly, there's the cousin. The Larva Moth is making many appearances today. So far, we have Guilty of the D-Knight. We pulled two Larva Moths. Amazing. Electric Lizard. Leg Hole. That looks like it would be related to the Pecanio Moth, but... Maybe that's like the in-laws or something. We have the Ryukishin Powered. Larva Moth, nice. We've got the Water Amotics, very nice. A Bakery Bakery Box. Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Numero Uno. And finally, we have... Little Chimera. All right, Little Chimera. He's little. He's a Chimera. Two packs to go. Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's do this. Let's pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon EN. I take Dark Magician. I take Red Eyes. I take Exodia Head. I mean, I take all those, to be honest. I mean, some people like Jarvis, you know, in the in the video the other day, uh, trashing on Exodia, but I would take it. We got Armored Starfish. He's probably watching this video like, oh, man, you got to bring that up. Metabat. We got the Sandstone. Uh, Lesser Dragon. Very nice. A remove Trap. Steel Ogre Grotto, number one. Monster Egg. Nimuruko, we are getting close. Is this the final card? I can never tell. I think it might be. It is polymerization. I was expecting Dark Hole because it's always Dark Hole. I'm much happier with this. I love polymerization. I think the original art's really amazing. A lot of people like that, like updated art or whatever, like the GX version. I think this one's way better. I don't know, probably because it's nostalgic. I just think it looks really dope. I can like just see it. You know, it just looks like you know, early 2000s, stuff like that. I really like it. So our first foil from a blister, we'll take it. And finally, we figure out what's inside the Pop-Tart pack. Is it s'mores? Is it brown sugar cinnamon? Is it unfrosted strawberry? We're about to find out. Here we go. Put your favorite Pop-Tarts in the comments and let's go. Will it be Blue Eyes? Will it be Karibo? Will it be Dark Magician? Let's see if we can open this without ruining it. 
Like immediately. Okay, let's do this. So we can do a little flipperoo. I think it is. I'm gonna try not to spot. There we go. Okay, it is this way. Cool. So we can go like this. Really careful. Don't want to bend it. All right, nice. Pull it out like that. All right, the final card's a little warped. It appears. Let's see if it looks bent. Warped is one thing. You can kind of fix that. Bent is another thing. This just appears to be warped, which is good. Wait, is there something going on down here? Maybe. All right, it looks pretty good. Let's see. Will it be the blue eyes? Oh, the Karibo. Probably the worst one. And of course, it's in great shape when it's the Karibo. It's a little warped, but you can probably put that under some books or something. Very nice card. Very nice pull. It's the worst one, but still looks really pretty. So overall, an amazing opening. Thanks, Jackson, for sending these in. Make sure you guys thank him in the comments for allowing this to be possible. Just awesome content that you guys get to enjoy. And I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimigecko, Stanley, and Thomas. McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.